What's going on guys? It's Q&A time and I'm super excited. Uh, yesterday I put up an Instagram story saying ask me anything with the intention of answering all of your questions here on this YouTube video because honestly it's way more fun for me to make a video about it than to just type in my responses on Instagram. Um, so when you guys came back with a lot of questions, which I really appreciate, I'm honestly amazed. Um, it was way more than I, I thought there was going to be. Um, and eventually maybe it'll be more fitness oriented, uh, but right now I'm, I'm happy you guys get to know me a little bit better because uh, there's some personal questions, some fitness questions. Uh, so I'll try to mix them in together, you know, maybe alternating back and forth uh, so we can sort of get a, a blend of everything. But you know, eventually as you guys have more fitness questions, this may be a good format. Uh, for sort of getting those answered and you know a lot of times people may have similar questions um, So we can you can ask them and I can answer them and maybe it helps uh, somebody else out, too So I got uh, three questions here today and I'll film uh, You know, maybe three more in another video, but let's jump right in and just before reading the first question I want to mention that I'm gonna keep everything anonymous um, in the future when you're asking a question if you want me to mention who the question is coming from just let me know i'd be more than happy to do that but for today we'll just uh, not mention any names so first question what's your job how's it going any future plans um this is a great question um so right now i'm at planet fitness in east granby connecticut uh, some of you may know i was at planet fitness in belgertown massachusetts for a little over two years um, i was the trainer there it was my first training position um, once I moved to Connecticut, I, I live in Rocky Hill now, Rocky Hill, Connecticut. Um, when I moved in, uh, it was about a year ago, I had another job for another company. Um, but in December, I decided I wanted to be back with Planet Fitness. Uh, so I actually uh, got an opportunity in East Granby. And now I'm uh, on more of a management track. Uh, I think it's a better long term uh, plan for me. So I'm very, very excited to be back with my PF family. Uh, in a completely different state, completely different club, but great people, super excited for the opportunity. Um, future plans, of course, are all about Hannah. Uh, we wanna get married sometime soon um, and you know, start our life together and uh, creating our, our internet content and everything, trying to, to create businesses out of that, respectively you know, and collectively. Uh, it's very exciting for us and you know, there is no other future plan other than Hannah Severance, so feel good about that. All right, second questions um, are about bulking, which I love because I'm bulking right now, so this one's very near and dear to me. Um, I'm actually on a, a very long bulk. I'm five and a half months in now with no end in sight right away. Um, so there there's, was a couple questions about bulking, um, so I'm gonna kind of answer them together. Uh, so one was just, you know, what are some tips for bulking? One was uh, the three things, um, the three most important things for bulking. I really like that one, so let's go with that. Um, maybe the best place to start is with a definition of bulking, because you know some people may not know. And bulking is really a, a bodybuilding term for wanting to build muscle. Um, so it's a, a period in your training and your diet planning um, where the primary focus is to, to pack on muscle mass to your whole body, various parts of your body, that depends on the individual, but when you're trying to grow, it's called bulking. Um, so with the definition um, taken care of, I would say the most important, the three most important things for bulking would be food, workouts, and patience. Um, and I say food first because no matter what, like everything else aside, there's no way for you to bulk if you're not eating enough calories. Like Physi physiologically, you cannot gain weight and build muscle and you know everything else that comes with bulking unless you're eating more calories than you're burning. If it's the other way around, if you're burning more calories than you're eating, you're going to be losing weight, probably losing muscle. So that's the complete opposite of what you wanna be doing. So you wanna make sure that you're eating frequently enough and your meals contain enough calories for you to be in a surplus, meaning you're know, again eating more calories than your body actually burns during the day. So that's number one. Uh, number two, workouts. You gotta be strength training consistently. And by consistently, I mean at least four days a week, I think is a, a good standard. Um, but because if you're not strength training, like, and uh, you know, on a, a consistent workout plan where it's not a general total body, do whatever every time you go to the gym, but focused on specific muscle groups on specific days, working hard, 
you got to be doing that. Otherwise, those extra calories you're eating are just going to wind up being stored as fat. And that's obviously not what I want or anyone who's bulking wants. Um, so definitely got to hit it hard at the gym to to make use of that extra energy that you're consuming and you know encourage your muscles to grow. Um, so then the third one, which is often overlooked, this is more mental than practical or physical, uh, is patience. You gotta, you gotta stick with it. You gotta recognize it's not a, a short-term game. It's really a long-term move. And for me personally, you know, I, I've struggled with that and gotten into this, you know, pointless sort of cycle of three months of bulking, three months of cutting. And for those of you who don't know, cutting is the opposite of bulking, where you're trying to get as lean as possible. Um, but you don't get a lot done in those three month periods. You're just kind of wishy washy going back and forth without making any real progress in either direction. And it's frustrating and it's pointless. And you know, it, it's really not going to, to help you to, to build the physique that you want to do. So you have to stick with long term cutting, long term bulking, where it's a slow, steady process. Um, and one thing you really have to be patient with, especially with bulking is you're going to gain a little bit of fat and that's frustrating and no one likes to talk about that because you know people are just like oh i'm just gonna pack on slabs of muscles and i'm still gonna be cut it's not how it works it's not how your body's gonna work at all and me personally i have a a belly here that i didn't have five and a half months ago and it's frustrating and i don't like it but it just is what it is i gotta trust the process um and and recognize that this is how i'm going to to get to that next level and a little bit about my you know having gone over the three things I think that are most important for me right now, this bulk I'm going through, it's, I started at 190, 191 pounds, I believe it was. Um, and I'm at 226 currently and I'm looking to push to 240 or 250. So that's a very long term process where the bulk started back in November. Um, and it's April and I'm maybe halfway through. And that's just a matter of me being patient, me recognizing the end goal and sticking with it. Not worrying about getting the good picture on Instagram because anyone with abs can look like a bodybuilder on Instagram. You got, you know, guys who are half the size of me who know, you know, have a bathroom with good lighting and know what angles to hit and, you know, they're selling their fitness eBooks online. And that's fine, you know, power to those people. Um, but that's not what I want. I want to actually, I don't want to just look the part. I want to be the part. I want to be walking around at 225 pounds lean because that's what's going to make me happy. And, and that's the, the challenge that I've created for myself. Um, so to each their own. But if you're going to bulk, you got to you got to be patient. You got to got to stick with it. All right. And the third question is a fun one. Uh, thank you for making Hannah the happiest I've ever seen her. And how did you realize she was your person? Um, so obviously Hannah Severance is the love of my life. And she's the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Um, and it was extremely, extremely easy for me to realize that she was in fact my person because I've never been more comfortable around anyone else ever in my life. Friends, family, no one has I've ever connected with so quickly, so easily. Um, and I would have had to be very blind to not recognize uh, that she was perfect for me. And uh, we actually met at Belchertown Planet Fitness when I was a trainer there and our first date was me getting her to, to work out with me and um, you know two weeks later I, I told her she was my girlfriend and uh, it, the rest is history kind of I mean it, it was so immediate but so comfortable and so right um, that you know other people who have found the right person I'm sure can relate to but a lot of people may not be able to um, but I've never been one to just go from relationship to relationship. Like I've never really cared to start a relationship if I didn't think it was going to be something serious. Cause I don't have time for games. I don't want to play with people's emotions or, you know, be selfish or be thoughtless. It's like I, I'm I'm in it for the long haul and Hannah is too. Hannah has always been the, the same way. So for us to, to come together at the right point in our lives where we're both so young, but both looking for the same forever kind of relationship, and that, that's extremely rare. And a lot of people are just looking to, to hook up 
and be stupid and have fun and to each their own. Like I, I get it. I'm I'm the odd one out in my generation. Me and Hannah are the the odd ones out in our generation. Uh, but for us to to find each other, it was so comfortable. It was so right. Um, and she's the most beautiful girl in the world. So for for her to to be on the have the same mindset as me, and for us to be able to push each other to to work on our goals and for us to you know give each other such confidence and such support it's it's all i could ever ask for and so so much more and that's why i'm gonna wife her up and lock her up for good because i recognize she's the the greatest girl out there so i'm i'm a lucky lucky man to have her all right guys i'm gonna cut it there because i don't want to ramble on for too long um and if don't worry if your question didn't get answered uh i will be making another video very soon it'll probably be up in the next couple of days um and make sure you're thinking of more questions as well because I'm gonna have more Instagram stories up asking for more because it's really fun for me at least um, but I think it's a good way for you guys to get to know me a little bit and I really want to get to know you so that's why I say feel free to ask me anything um, and eventually maybe it is more fitness but right now if it's personal stuff if it's whatever uh, just feel free ask away um, and please you know as always I always ask please do like please do subscribe comment below if you thought of a question you know message me however you want to get in touch um if you thought of a question after watching this or you know a suggestion for what you'd like to see in the future i appreciate it all i appreciate your support it really does mean the world to me and thank you again